everyone. It's an honor to be here. Before I joined uh, or co-founded this tech startup of Altrin, um, when I come to the States, I mainly go to New York, and I've lived there for 10 years. And this year, I've already, it's my sixth time in San Francisco. So hello, San Francisco. Hello, the heart of technology innovation and the world of developers. Um, we come to the, the world of blockchain thinking what we can do about it. And imagine already 300 years ago, actually technology innovation have always been pushing the boundaries of a lot of business scenarios, how we can actually live in this world. Today, without knowing, we're already inside of a digital, mobile, uh, internet world. Everyone is using the smartphone, everyone is connected with each other, with the mobility and internet connected. There is no business is already not with some sort of digital connected or internet feature of it. But blockchain just came into our mind not too many years ago. And we're still at a very immature phase of it. But think about what blockchain can do for our innovation and for our entire business society. Imagine in the future, you can come out to your door and use your uh, digital like a, a watch or anything. You can open a car that you have someone or yourself wrote a smart contract with. You're going to use the car. Actually, it's not yours, but you can drive it. Uh, and into a, um, like a today's Airbnb type of a sharing a house, a beautiful house for vacation. And you can just open it with a simple swipe with your private, private key on your uh, digital gadget and you can open it because it's locked and secured by smart contract. You can sell your own stuff, whatever is a watch or a painting or it's a piece of jewelry to another consumer somewhere else in the world and you can easily transform the identity and the ownership of the subject because it's a trusted and it's a safe transaction. And you can know better of your food source and you have a better experience overall. And it can actually potentially transform the entire industry from traditional manufacturing, logistics, energy, and even uh, of entertainment that you can potentially um, sponsor or really um, promote your own um, idol um, by truly involved with it and get rewarded by that. Today we talk about blockchain. Uh, when Bitcoin was invented, sometimes we uh, phrase it a uh, blockchain 1.0. And it has evolved with a smart contract introduced by the super talented Vitalik and sure. Ethereum has generated. However, to be able to realize the business scenario I just described, uh, um, high efficiency and a very, very solid technical infrastructure is definitely uh, required. And um, Outchain is not only just trying to become a next public chain, although we mentioned about that, but now we want to introduce to the world how we actually can achieve that, become a true engine of the entire decentralized applications, of the decentralized infrastructure could enable millions of other programs on top. With the blockchain as a hard core of technology, combining with artificial intelligence and the applicable uh, I IoT device applicable um, solutions, we can, with our middle layer of the privacy, identity, and pledging other, many of other protocols, we can enable the end decentralized applications to realize a lot of business scenarios as I just described. Our chain, our goal is not just to become a public chain, but to serve as a core of the engine directly to make an applicable and usable great product. So it's not easy to make this happen because actually uh, we have a lot of blockchain projects um, uh, very focused on technical theories, um, but um, in our mind, actually a success of having that happen it takes very solid advanced scientific theories. It takes very solid experience of engineering realization. We have to make it happen. 
And also, it takes solid business experience and resources to be able to understand what end user want, what business want, so that they will actually use your product. So this is what we are trying to accomplish. And also, before I jump into the blockchain field, I think my own background is already very cross-disciplinary and very cross-sector, which I'll come to it later. But blockchain is actually not only about technology. It is, I would say, it's a piece of art of the most cross-disciplinary um, uh, subject uh, of all industries combined. It requires cryptography, um, communication, operating system, and other, other uh, computer science techniques. You, you, you must have to realize it. It takes understanding of psychology and sociology so that you can understand and better provide a governance for the community. It requires primary and secondary financial invest, um, uh, experience so you can understand how to build your own uh, society sustainable with a continuous funding because it's actually more tricky than simple venture capital investment or private equity investment as the old world. It is directly, in a way, um, decentralized and is a, a lot of a secondary feature on top. And it's, it's very global. Nothing is more global than blockchain. But at the same time, it's also local. We need to care about the community in any given local space. And uh, also, it's, um, as we are in the blockchain conference today, I would say every blockchain fan will, will think that there's no more events happening in, the, in this field um, no other field have more conferences and events, but I would say there's no shame of doing great marketing and events for your own company if we're building a true substance on top. So blockchain actually combines all these features and you have to have it all to be more successful and to build a true sustainable and applicable platform. Luckily, we have a team and it's an honor that most of my founding team members and core team members are at present today. We have a, a world-class economic um, macroeconomist, Ke Yujing, as our economist advisor. She is um, the youngest tenure at London School of Economics, uh, bachelor, uh, master and uh, PhD in Harvard, uh, and the youngest and the only female board of director members of the global largest luxury group, Richmond. And uh, we also have another advisor, founder of Musical.ly, Louis Yang. Uh, he actually invented, I would say, the most active and popular uh, Western app as an uh, Asian founder, um, have had over hundreds of millions of active users using uh, Musical.ly. And uh, he was uh, acquired by uh, ByteDance, it's a Chinese um, large tech, uh, tech um, application, now worth more than 30 billion US dollars um, last year. So to have these advisors, we care about the true uh, token economy and to how to build a killer app from day one on our public uh, infrastructure. And we have our uh, founding team, our co-founder and CEO, Ray, 10 years in uh, IBM and four years in Alibaba, specialized in data security and in charge of all the Ali ecosystem data security and the risk control uh, before he, um, he and uh, us founded this company. Our CTO, William Lee, has 10 years in operating system experience in Motorola and four years in Alibaba specialized in Ali Cloud OS system, which actually is an IoT focused operating system. And when uh, Ant Financial first had the blockchain team, uh, he was the first hire to build the entire technical team there. And uh, they they had more than 30 patents while he filed during end financial blockchain department and uh, he with a true spirit of blockchain definitely uh, is the goal to build a public chain not just satisfied with a private chain because um, I will describe later a true innovation of a blockchain feature can be only sustained as a true decentralized public chain infrastructure. Our cryptographer, Hussein Wan, is very talented uh, young cryptography uh, scientist. Uh, seven years research from Tsinghua University, Leuven University, then Luxembourg uh, National Academy, uh, specialized in privacy and cryptography. And he was the uh, expert of uh, cryptography at End Financial before he joined us. And our very talented chief architect, Yu Feng Shen, was in the panel earlier today. He is a very talented um, 
I would say developer, and uh, is a, is a mastermind of uh, all of behind our smart engine. Uh, myself, I was uh, many years um, I was study um, science and from a, a military family and a very hardcore scientific family. Uh, I have many years um, experience in cross border M and A when I was in the early twenties had honor to uh, uh, deal with a lot of uh, very senior people, uh, global CEOs um, like um, of Siemens or of KUKA. Although I learned computer science in Colombia, but it's amazing that when I did uh, the cross-border M&A as a banker, when I talked and actually uh, lived in Germany for many years, uh, it's very interesting, the world of engineers, uh, the Germans, hardcore engineers, and the very hardcore information scientists here in the States, um, it's, a, it's, it's a very hard to uh, cross the message for a lot of uh, the greatest engineering company to become more digitalized. And uh, it's very interesting to talk about, uh, think about that. And at that time, already the, the uh, new way of connectivity and the new way of how to uh, emerge between information science and the true engineering and find a new way of connectivity is in my mind. And I have been searching for that for a long time. Um, but uh, in China, actually, for any upcoming new innovation, the adoption rate is extremely high. So I decided to go back to China and to search for the, um, the, the true innovation potential. And, uh, and uh, luckily, uh, I found my team par partners at uh, Outchain, and we came together because we had a vision that blockchain, it is truly the new way of connectivity. And it's the only problem to solve a lot of bottlenecks today AI and IoT couldn't solve because of the data acquisition uh, um, bottleneck and uh, a lot of other uh, factors. Our Outchain kernel, uh, served as multiple layers. We have the fundamental technology infrastructure, and we have the middle layer with all the um, like a privacy, zero knowledge proof, and uh, with a lot of um, the identity protocols, pledge protocols, army protocols on top, and then. Uh, wrapped with our Robin framework is the most user-friendly uh, and easy to deploy and uh, develop um, Robin framework for any developer to use. Um, and our own consensus is based on proof of random mistake. We came up with uh, um, uh, the notion ourselves um, by introducing a true uh, VRF plus BFT and BA function, we can realize a higher uh, efficiency of the TPS, if you will, but without sacrificing the true decentralization feature and without sacrificing any security matter. Uh, we actually, uh, from July, we have already realized um, with a thousand globally distributed nodes, and uh, we have already realized 3,000 TPS confirmation time, 10 seconds. Just want to show to the world that we are not only talking about it, but we have already realized it. Our uh, our public testnet is up right now, and we are doing a public testing open to everybody. Our design philosophy for our Robin framework is very simple. We care about the performance efficiency, and uh, we care about the true feature of decentralization, as I have been reinforced several times. And it's very economical, meaning cheap to use. I talked to some of our DAP, um, DAP ecosystem founders. And before, of course, they're building on top of other public chain. And as the experience, they would say, it's slow and expensive. And I guess we're just simply trying to do the opposite. Uh, uh, welcome to join our public uh, testnet launching this afternoon because uh, we have a very cute video just to demonstrate how easy and to, to, uh, to reach our vision about creating a programmable business society. Everyone could use our smart contract and in the future, everyone can write their own smart contract with or without any computer science background. So our, even our mascot, the uh, supernova elephant, could do it. 
Uh, again, our te public test net is up, and uh, it's welcome for everyone to try. And we're having a, uh, the workshop tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. to 10.30 for everyone to, um, to be on, the stay, uh, on site, can try our hackathon um, uh, questions, and also could see our live demos, a lot of uh, interesting live demos. Our midware demos, which are going to be uh, highlighted this afternoon in our own product launch as well, uh, we have three uh, very important killer middle layer apps will be introduced. The first one is our own zero knowledge proof layer. We actually have a new solution that uh, is to, to find a way to actually customize and to standardize the zero knowledge proof solution. So different vertical of users could simply um, apply, uh, apply it, and the efficiency is many times higher than the current solution out there. Um, we, we are demoing a fair, the true fair randomization demo because we believe the true randomization feature is not only important for our own consensus, but it's also important to, for many end apps to use it and for the users to understand it's a true randomization and not still a central way of doing it. So we have a solution to demonstrate that to the world, and it's very interesting to see. And we also are thinking about the future. We are demoing a quantum resisted wallet so that in case the, the, the quantum physics uh, uh, era will hurt a lot of our the crypto wallet today. And it, we think about the next uh, step already and our talented cryptographist Husen will really introduce all the details to all of you this afternoon. So I wouldn't uh, go into details about our uh, zero knowledge proof, but um, uh, it's, it's very, uh, very, um, uh, I would say very easy to applic applicate and it's uh, important to be able to find a customized solution for different, in, uh, for different industry verticals because today uh, it, the, all the solutions are very difficult to uh, customize and also very difficult uh, to use because it costs too much energy and it's quite slow. Talking about the end applications, um, of course, we are already empowering many of the applications and you can see already on our main, we call it permitted mainnet because it's a, actually it's a mainnet, but it's just not every uh, foreign nuts could join. Our pub, public testnet is open for everyone, but our permitted mainnet is uh, now built on uh, like third party more secured uh, nodes. But a few of our um, like sample applications is already running on top, and you can see it this afternoon. But I want to introduce you this idea of digital twin could be empowered by our technology and with our partner to do a smart contract on chip. And in the future, imagine the world, we can actually mirror all of our real life assets to a digital assets. And if we, we are creating our own, our own virtual uh, reality game, everything, every object, uh, every piece of art we have, everything at home, it's real. We can carry with the world of virtual asset with us, knowing that it's true and it carries a true value behind it. We have a solution for that, and we really think all of this on-chain, off-chain solution to mirror the asset and to be able to, uh, to secure the identity of a value and to, do, uh, able to enable value transfer will be the key for a lot of the future innovations. Um, yes, as I mentioned, we have been empowering also other um, depths already in the energy field, in the charity field, and many more. We are doing a very different way of our community building. We have a very uh, global hubs already, 16 global hubs uh, scattered in the US, Europe, Israel, and uh, many countries in Asia. We have an online community um, sa saturated with top global leaders, um, the head of capital markets in NASDAQ, the uh, global CEO of Roland Berger, Berger which is a large uh, consulting firm, like uh, um, dozens of founders and CEOs um, of NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange listed companies. We also have a lot of family owners uh, all around the globe in our online community. Not only 
to just to be there to support us, but always shed lights about how they believe blockchain could impact their business. And it's really important for us because we need to understand how they think about this frontier technology could help them to improve their uh, business verticals or to revolutionize their own business verticals. This is how we imagine and how is how we're going to pave the road of our own developments. And we also care about the true decentralized community and that is the, uh, always the, the true mission of being a blockchain funding platform. We care about the community and the community is part of us. We have been hosting many, many offline events and online events uh, on our own telegram group and also we have done many global events in Paris, Munich, uh, Boston, New York and here and just to give them opportunity and to be really local as well to, to do all the local developers um, community meetup and also to grow the local de um, uh, decentralized apps and to, under to let them understand how to leverage blockchain technology to something they wish to um, invent or something that it could be very useful for their enterprise. We're honored to be recognized by some of the, uh, the high uh, influenced crypto um, uh, rating um, platforms and it, because we're actually a very young platform uh, we just came together uh, technically from last year but uh, in reality we're a team just came together since March this year and with the six months we have really done a lot uh, from the global expansion from the technology realization and more and so we really wish you to stick with us and see what we can do in the future um, this is a very rewarding time and I wish to share with you about a lot of, a lot of our community members sharing their work to uh, see how they understand us or how they like our uh, our um, our company so we have a lot of receive a lot of creative art and a lot of really interesting posts and this is the moment of um, rewarding really for us for or for any blockchain founders to see what the true power of decentralized global community could bring to you a lot of surprise and it's really the force to um, encourage and inspire you to carry on but we really need to stick with the value and hold on our um, great traits and uh, experiences from our traditional in industry background and convert the bigger pie to understand the world of blockchain and to make blockchain uh, to do something for good, actually make blockchain as a technology to really impact our business of, and our living scenarios. So uh, as an ending note, use our engine and join the ultra in ecosystem, join us. And I just want to highlight that because we have um, uh, our own product released this afternoon. Um, so follow these girls, Anna and uh, Ashley, that we're having our uh, product launch 4 p.m. this afternoon in Pro Room B. And it will be a lot of more technology oriented and you will have a lot of surprises. And claim your gift, uh, gift bag with our mascot, the supernova elephant. And you can see them uh, uh, around the uh, area and the main reception hall. Thank you very much.